any closer to finding solution to this home insurance crisis. Some of you are losing your homeowner's insurance. It depends on, though, about the solution, who you ask. Our Capital Correspondent Chris Rosado is here with the very latest on what happened today. Chris. Yeah, so we're three days into the special session and both bills are now halfway through the legislative process. Moving forward, they'll need the same support they've been having over on the Senate side. Today, each House member was able to ask Commissioner Donilon their questions and give their concerns. While most on the floor seemed prepared to vote in favor, there were some who did not see the commissioner's plan to put $45 million into an incentive fund as the appropriate solution. If we're going to say that we're just doing something to do something over nothing, I'm with you, okay. If you say this is the only bill and this is the only th option that we have, I get that, but that's part of the problem, that we should have had more options to deal with this. Commissioner Donilon said he spoke with both Democrat and Republican caucuses earlier this week in trying to get everyone on the same page, but said both groups felt the same for the most part, concerned and skeptical. Several share their own recent experience. My premium went up from 6000 to 18000 a year. And I've been getting calls over and over. That happened to other, other individuals all over my district. This is not the perfect bill, but it is the only bill. And it is the only hope for South Louisiana. So I beg you to support this bill. Mine increased by 164% over last year. Is all of our hope tied to this bill? Oh goodness, I hope not. But some hope is. An amendment was added requiring 25% of the new policies from companies who come into the state and take money from the incentive fund to be taken from Citizens, one of the state's largest insurance companies. The bill passed with a 90 to 8 vote and Representative Stefanski's vetting bill passed unanimously. Both now head to Senate Finance, a committee chaired by Senator Bodie White who's taken issue with the commissioner's job performance. Yesterday, the commissioner said the senator made it clear he did not support the incentive program when he asked for the money during the regular session last year. I think it will be okay there. I have not spoken specifically. I've, I've reached out to Senator White, but I've not heard back from him. I think he recognizes, however, being the savvy and, and experienced legislator that he is, uh, that this is an emergency. I'm told Senate Finance will take up both bills tomorrow afternoon around 1.30. At the Capitol, I'm Chris Rosado. Back to you. All right, Chris, thank you.